Hey guys, so welcome back. I'm currently in the same clothes I was in yesterday. Um, I didn't really do anything, so I just, I felt like my clothes weren't dirty, I guess you'd say. But I do want to show you that um, I got my new chair. And this is my first um, power chair. So let me go, let me go into a little bit of detail uh, for people that are new. Um, I was born with a neurological crippling disease. Um, it affects the neuromuscular, the neuro, um, like um, the neuro, like the nerves transfer and stuff, like sending signals and your muscles, and it may, it's uh, it's a part of muscular dystrophy. And I have um, CMT. Um, there is numerous, numerous, numerous different strands. But I have CMT one A, Shark Creek Marie Tooth one A, call CMT for short. And um, I've always had a wheelchair. I've had a wheelchair since I was four, five. But before then, um, I was like always in the stroller or something because I got really weak. Um, I then, I had a regular chair, like I had a regular chair that was covered through insurance. And, um, let me turn this off. And it was just my grandparents pushed me around school, you know, whatever. And then, um, I could, I was small, like I grew, but I was still small. So I didn't get another, like, bigger chair until um i was like 18 19 i think i was like i think i was 18 still and that one it had the the wheels in it um was um like a like a push assist wheel i guess i forget what they're called and then um my last year i got in 2018 um it was a regular manual chair with a um smart drive on the back with the bracelet and a double tap i have videos of that on my channel um, it's just not ideal for me. It's not, um, it's not safe for me. And I'm, I've seen a lot of people where they were like, it's not safe. Um, you know, it's a smart, it's a smart device, but I can't use it. My needs aren't met with it. Um, I can't stop a controller or anything like that. So I went back in October, get one piece. You and your brother get one piece. And, um, it's just, it's just, it wasn't meeting, it wasn't meeting my needs. So, in October, I went back to see my, uh, my OT and PT and physical, or, um, my neurologist and my doctor and everything that specializes in my crippling disease. And they're like, yeah, this chair is not meeting your needs. So, um, they got, we got hooked up with a, um, chair. Okay, take it in the living room. Make sure you keep it off the couch, okay? But, um, it just, it wasn't made my needs, so they got me a, a power chair. I was able to pick which one I wanted. I chose this one. I'll show you it in just a second. It's a Quantum Strato. Let me see it up. It was a Quantum Strato um, Edge 3. I liked it because it was small, and it was more lightweight. It is 400 pounds, but it's lighter of the ones, um... There was a bigger color option, and I chose pink. I'm usually not a pink person, but I'm like, hey, I need bright and vibrant. So, um, can you get a different sucker that says caramel on it, and it's sticking? You're going to have to wait for your dad, because I can't open that. Get, get a different one. Get a different sucker. Please and thank you. But I wanted pink, and um, I was told, and I knew, like, I needed the, like, the lift and everything to make me go higher, so... I'm going to show you what that does in right now, but I'm going to show you the, um, like, what, oh, so this raises and comes up, see, and right here is this little piece, this is where I charge it, but there's also a uh, special USB port, like, plug-in that I can plug uh, USB cords and stuff into it, and I can charge my phone and stuff when I'm out and about. Um, so, let me show you the controls. And then I'll show you, like, what not the chair does itself. So this is my joystick. Um, I, this is the on. And you pull it down, turn it off. It's a Quantum Edge 3 Strato. I went in, I changed the color to um, pink. But I have indoor moderate, outdoor moderate, outdoor fast. And these are, like, my settings. And then um, this right here is to recline the chair. Up and down. Whoop, let me go over here. And then, okay, take it in there. And then the seat, the one that's on the seat, it's how I um, raise and lower it. 
And then this is how, um, when it's on the feet, that's for the feet plate to extend it. If that makes any sense. So, I am going to, I'm going to have it on indoor slow. And then oh, over here, I can like go through and adjust how fast I want it. If that makes any sense. And then um, I have the horn. And then these are just like the assist. So I'm just going to show you how I use it. So I'll show you the leg. I'll show you the legs first. Um, once when I'm reclined a certain way, I can no longer, like, okay, right here is my lights. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I just have to tap it. Um, but I can't go, um, once when I'm like certain, like reclined, I'll have a X mark on the top of the screen showing how um, I'm not safe to ride it. But I'll show you the feet. So I'm going all the way down, and I don't know if you can see it, but I can raise up. And I will recline this from right here, but I just want to show you that um, that with that, um, I can recline all the way back and still have it all the way elevated. Um, but I just, just for like reasoning and how everything's set up, see my feet raising? And going outward so this is as far as it goes um, I will have my wheelchair rep come back and extend the feet part um, just so that it's more size to myself because like right now my knees are bent and they're not supposed to be bent and when I have my braces on I have to be able to extend and I can't extend any further but um, that's okay so I'm going to turn Let me see if I can show you. So I'm going to turn like this. Does that makes sense? I'm going to turn like this. Do you know you can see my feet? Um, but I'm going to recline myself. Let me turn. Can you see? Okay, I'm going to recline myself. And I do have the head plate. And I do have a seatbelt. Hold on, I have to lower my soul. So right here, I cannot move. This is not safe for me to move. Oh, I'm going even higher. Okay, let's see. Hold on, I gotta lower myself so I can turn. Anyways, I can go, I can go pretty far, I can go pretty far back. I'm going to go a little bit further so you can see how like, like I'm limited on space just because we're trying to redo the kitchen and stuff, but. right here this is not safe and I'm technically all the way back and I don't like that I don't like being all the way back but um yeah it's really cool but I can go at like a 180 um so I'm just gonna lower myself down okay and I can even all be um all the way reclined um, I could be all the way reclined, and I'm going to come back to this part so I can show you how high I can get, but, um, yeah, so I'm going, what was I saying? Oh, so, I can, I'll be all the way, like, elevated to the top and reclined, but I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go over here to the feet. just all the way down in the, in the seated position and 
I'm gonna go over here and I am going to raise myself. And I can get up to, um, I think it's, I think it's, thir I, I, I think it's like 6.8 miles an hour. But this is high as I am, and I can still drive in this, so I'll show you. I can drive in this. And the reason why we wanted this feature was because um, I can get, when I'm grocery shopping, I can get up on the shelves. Woo. I just opened up my sink. I just opened up my drawer. But as you can see, I want to make sure I'm okay. I can reach into the cabinets. I don't think all of them is dead. I can reach up in there and grab stuff. Well, I think Mason said as well, can I really, like, shop down the ones I talked in the shop? The okay, shop. put it down, and no more candy. Uh, but I want that shop that I have. Go on. No more candy. You've got one piece. That's it. Oops, I just shut myself off. And then, um, this can also be raised. It needs to be. Um, this can come inward if I need it to, or outward if I need it to and I can still move so if I have let me lower myself okay so Um, if I have the baby on my lap or anything, I can easily bring this over and I can drive it. That way he's not in reach. Or if I need to get up on the counter, like up like up in the cabinet, I can turn it and it can be out of the way. Um, it's not bumping into things. So, I'm going to lower myself some more. Oh, hold on. I'm still getting used to, like, when it comes to raising or lowering, it's opposite. So, like, what you think would be up, like, backwards is up, forward, or, you know, it's, it's backwards. Okay, so I hope, hold on. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And give us a big thumbs up if you want to see more. And, yeah, there will be a whole bunch of adventures and stuff. And especially now that I got my chair, I can go freely as I please and not have to rely on Daniel to um, go with me. Like, it'd be nice, but I don't have to rely on him to go with me to take the kids for walks or um, go to the store or just go and be free like I can I can go be independent like I'm supposed to be all right so like I said I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to comment down below go ahead I don't have a problem with it I actually I prefer you guys to comment and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys oh for real quick the chair we have decided to name her flow rider so um my other chair was a Karen because it was just a pain in the butt. And then this chair, she got the name of Flow Rider because she's pink. And I was going to name her Blossom. So if the kids want to call her Blossom, they can do that because she's pink and her wheels look like um, flowers. Or, JK. or the kids want to call her JK. But um, yeah, so her name is Flow Rider. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!